we're going to see how to modify an existing specification in Autofluid. We're looking to modify material dimensions, conduit diameters, elbow interlocking, axes, valves, etc. Let's use an elbow from the Autotube PVC pressure specification as an example. Click on the button Modify the specification regarding the drawing comment associated, selected and access to the values. In our example, we're talking about the 110 nominal pipe size. Click on Nominal Pipe Sizes to modify the conduit and elbow values. For the clarity of the demonstration, we will greatly enlarge the interlocking. Let's draw the elbow again. The new interlocking value is effective. Now, let's use Autotube Steel Rooting Butterfly Valve. I'd like to change the road and lever dimension. I pick the specification and access to the butterfly valve values to modify them. Let's draw a valve again. For example, I use the pickup from three lines command, right click, valving. The new values are effective. The modifications are not retroactive. It means that what has been drawn will not be automatically modified. These procedures work for all the other SAN and Autotube specification. As it is said in our FAQ, don't forget to save the information given in every diameter. It is saved in the plus folder of your software. It is recommended to frequently save this folder. We remind you that this procedure is also available in our FAQ page.